Welcome back everyone to this week's episode of Embrace Your Uniqueness. Today I'm going to continue on my conversation about my leaving of social media, deleting my Facebook and Instagram and other those side peripheral uh, social media accounts. And I want to talk about modern day honesty in the age of social media. We have to become brave enough to challenge ourselves. We have to become bold when sharing our special story. We all have something special inside. Are we willing and able to make the stand and say, yes, this is the life that's worth fighting for? Thank you guys so much again for tuning in. If you could take a quick moment and like and subscribe to my channel. By subscribing to my channel, you're notified by my weekly videos and all the postings that I do. And also by liking and just commenting and getting involved in this channel is really pushing embracing your uniqueness to the max. Showing YouTube that this channel matters and that you can have a place where we're all about, you know, personal development and growth and growing together. I love the comments I've been getting on my videos, especially my last, the video I did uh, about um, quitting social media. You know, it's right here, the link if you want to check it out. That's kind of like episode one. I'm finding that this is going to be a big topic. And so this will be part two of it. And we're going to talk about modern day honesty. And right off the bat, I want it to be very clear. I do not believe that the value of honesty or integrity is waning in today's society. I think it's being shifted. I think that in general, this is a major push in, in our natural human mind where, you know, new technology floods into society. Society has a learning curve. It doesn't make us less like have less morals or to not value honesty or integrity because that's not that's not what I believe. I believe that we just have a, a learning curve right now. We have a new um, tipping point where social media, televisions, you know, we're all connected globally way more. And so we have a new take on what it means to be honest with each other. And so first, I just want that to be clear because I, I think it's so important when, um, you know, we're talking about quitting social media, the negative effects of social media, you know, the evils of Mark Zuckerberg. And I do, I do believe that he should be accountable for all the, the decisions he made as a business owner for the victims that are in his wake, just like Big Tobacco, you know, all these major capitalistic corporations that took profit over people, they deserve to get what's coming to them. I do believe that first and foremost. I think it's so important that you guys understand that that's where I'm coming from. But I will also say this, in a capitalistic society, we have made it so that people are allowed to capitalize on other people. People are consumers. We are building a society that grows the economy off of giving and giving and taking and taking and taking and giving out something and having people respond to it and taking it and paying for that services. So you can hate Mark Zuckerberg all you want. I definitely hate on him in my last video a little bit and poke fun at him. But I will say this, if it wasn't him, it was going to be someone else. Like we're always, it's human nature to create, innovate, and push boundaries. I think we can't slow that train. And I think it's a misinformed way of living to live in that mentality of, well, when back in my day, we didn't have the social media. Kids these days don't know what it means to get outside and play and real live life and do things the way I did back in yonder ye years. Yeah, I just, I get it. Things aren't the same, even from what I've seen. I grew through, you know, gaming systems coming into our world. I grew through uh, telephones from being just one place centralized in the house, having one line, busy signals, you know, like into phones going to other people's rooms, conference calls. And then it was internet came into people's world and you were able to have a computer but if you went on the internet it, it kicked people off the phone or, or if you picked up the phone it kicked people off the internet it was like but now just look at things are just moving and moving and moving first we had newspaper then it went to radio then radios were in everyone's houses and then radios were replaced by one small tv in the middle of the house and then now every room has tvs and now we're all logged in and now you can watch Everything's connected. You're on your phone, you're on your watch, you're on your tablet, you're on your TV over here, you're on your laptop over here, you're on this, on this, on this, and this. And so we're just in a world where it's overwhelmingly consuming us and it's changing the dynamic of our, you know, relationship to values. And one of the values I want to look at is honesty. And I'm going to say this. First, 
This kind of goes into um, the video last week. Why did I give up social media? I felt that I was being pulled in so many emotional directions and that it was like system overload, constantly being on Facebook and Instagram and just like picking up my phone, getting on these feeds and having people that are just loosely connected into my world being able to affect me emotionally and to read posts, what good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's just an energy loss. I mean, and I realize now being a couple weeks, I'm almost like three some weeks away um, from just being done with it. I feel lighter. I feel more focused. I feel that I can tell you that I deal with what is on my plate. People in my world, I'm able to give more attention to. I'm not like triggered to feel an emotional response to some various opinion from some offshoot site where someone's like, throwing something up that I disagree with and it caused me to just like react emotionally. Then I replied and then I got in this internet battle with people. And next thing you know, I carry that negativity with me throughout the day. I just feel lighter. I feel lifted. And that if you want to con contact me, you can. And I'm available to spend energy with someone. I can plan a life and I just feel well balanced. And I think that's the key of all of this. Where is the balance? Honestly, honesty needs more balance. Because what is social media? It's a platform where we can present the version of ourselves that we like to present. It shows us, we show our strongest version of ourselves. We use filters to make ourselves look good. We have uh, time to edit what we say. We have ways to position our pictures in a way that make us look like the life that we want to present to the world. But that's not exactly honest. That's kind of like projecting what we want to the world to see us as. Now, we do do that on a day-to-day -day basis. That's why we get up and we shower, we put on clothes the way we like to put on clothes, and we and we we strive for jobs that we want to work in and we we do do that on some level. But the world gets to witness our flaws. And that's a beautiful thing because it's great to have a wonderful, positive relationship with failures and successes in your life and to learn from your mistakes and to understand that we're growing projects and that we can embrace our uniqueness and understand that we don't have to achieve the celebrity celebrated status of, you know, modern society. And, I, and that is also where social media starts really twisting things up. We aspire to be celebrities in America, especially I can speak for an American culture because that's where I live. That celebrity status is just the, that's what people aspire for. They want to be recognized. They want to be applauded. They want to be celebrated. They want to be pushed to the top. And it's all about riches and gold and fame and sex. And, and, and that's not just television. That's everything. That's commercialism at its core. That's capitalism at its core. Every business sells with sexual attraction or some kind of heightened um, fancy lifestyle. It's just the world of business. And if you're not using your advertising campaign in that facility, you're probably not doing so well. So we do all want to look our best and feel our best, right? I mean, that's not bad. What it gets, what gets a little bit twisted is when we're able to manipulate our day-to-day -day actions all the time and on social media. And so that's why I would say Stepping away from that life, not always having to project yourself as this hero, this um, strength, this beauty is very vulnerable and vulnerabilities are a wonderful place for personal growth and personal strength. Being vulnerable is honesty and being vulnerable allows yourself to grow and become the best version of yourself. So we look at social media and we we can hate on you know everyone's fake everyone's this everyone's that but also there's a lot of people that use social media to reach out that have something inside of them that they want to share to the world that they might be a little bit you know fearful of saying in life you know in real person so it does give them that, that outlet and i want to applaud all the people that do reach out I've read some really wonderful things from friends that put themselves out there in a vulnerable way and um I think that's powerful and I think that people need to read that. I think people need to be exposed to the fact that you're not alone in this world, that we all have struggles, we all have demons in the closet and the war inside of our head is intense, far more intense than what we perceive the, the troubles outside of our world are. 
And so that I do applaud, you know, a platform like social media, you know, it's nice to have something where you can just go out there and say what you need to say. But in that light, here we go, we're back into what we have to be careful about with social media is the response that you do. The more, when I see a post that I disagree with someone, you know, and I, they say, bup, 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 and I'm like, oh man, here I go. And I get ready. I crack my fingers on this hand because I got none on this hand. And I go to type and I do my response. I'm able to think about my response. I'm able to, you know, really get into it. I give them my honest opinion. You know, I give them a real piece of my honesty. But there's no consequences to what I have to say because I don't know that person. I'm not face to face that person. And I'm going for a reaction. And so I hit them with everything I got. And that's not what we do in real life on day to day life. With other people and what I had thought about when I was at the dog park this morning was I was at the dog park having a great time with my dog my dog's running having a great you know little um, experience and then you know the people there we kind of you start talking with little groups of people and there's one guy who came into the park and I've seen him before I, I kind of overhear what he says and get a sense like basic vibe of him and uh, I wouldn't agree with just a lot of what comes out of his mouth but one time he, today he had said in my close per proximity you know I was talking with a group of people he said something that really was off-putting to me uh, it was a little bit sexist and kind of like um, it just rubbed me the wrong way and I think it rubbed the group in a wrong way and and I just kind of, at that point, I was already kind of ready to leave the dog park anyway. So I just kind of gathered up my pup and we headed out and I just let bygones speak bygones. And I thought to myself, wow, if he had said what he said on social media and I had come over that on, like as a Facebook or an Instagram post, I would have probably responded and really let him have it and been like, you know, people like you that think like this are this and you're just representing this part of society and it's so bad. And, and I mean, that's, but that's so much energy and I didn't have to have that conflict and I wouldn't have that conflict in, in our world because you know what? I don't need to spend that energy on that gentleman. I don't have to, and I don't really know his backstory, and I don't really know where he's coming from. So I just moved on in life, and I'm sure if he was more in my circle or in my world, I would either confront him or tell him, like, listen, I just, this, I can't agree with this thinking, and, you know, this could be a roadblock in our relationship as friends, but we're not friends. We don't know each other. We share a dog park. Our dogs run around and sniff each other. Like, I mean, what's the big deal? So, so that part of social media, you know, that idea of social media, I am so thankful to be out of. The endless void, the throwing things out there without consequences. If I at that dog park had confronted him, we could have gotten into an argument and that could have changed the direction of my whole day. I could have popped on this, on this YouTube video and would have been like, this guy came out at the yard and I told him this and then we just were at it and I was in his face and he's coming at me and I'm coming at him. And you know what I mean? Like we could have gone there. It could have been that. Um, or maybe I could have talked to him for hours and hours and we could have had a great conversation and could have left and said, hey, you know what? You really opened my eyes. I'll never speak like this again. And, uh, you know, I'm a better person or I'm a different person from this moment moving forward. But let's face it. We don't always have to invest that kind of time and energy with every single stranger around us. Just like on Facebook, we don't have to invest all of that time and energy with every single stranger that's on there. And so I believe that by leaving it or by limiting social media and by putting less value on social media and spending less time on social media, you'll find that you are allowing yourself more energy and time and space and mental capacity and just pure personal growth to be the forefront. You want, you know, you're putting personal growth as your forefront, the connections that are truly around you, and you're limiting all the nonsense and the noise and you're quieting the noise. And I think that's important, especially in today's society. There are so many distracting noise factors that are pulling at your attention, pulling at your emotions, pulling at your energy levels to derail you, you know, turn you into more of a, a fragile piece because 
in that fragility, you might be a better consumer. You might be able to, um, you know, you'll be off, you're, you're distracted and you're not working towards your goals and you're not, you know, focusing on building yourself up. And it is about embracing your uniqueness, that self-understanding, that growth-minded mindset, accepting yourself on the highest level, knowing that there's gifts inside of you and that if you're able to create that growth-minded mindset and focus on the life that you want to go for, focus on the people that you want to have in your life, focus on your world, your community, and your neighborhood. And if you can develop a relationship with that um, social bubble that you have, all the wonderful things that you have around you, living with that high gratitude, you will impact so many people's lives. And if we all can have that impactful, gratitude-filled life, and we're filling up our neighborhoods with a stronger sense of community and um, just a growth-minded mindset that, you know, so like the youth of the day are, are seeing people live in a community that just that builds on positive energy and that love first mentality. I really believe that the, the world will shift back into feeling more like we are connected and we're not just sporadically clicked onto a site that entertains us because that's all Facebook is. It is just one endless uh, TV show. That's all it is. It's just one long reality TV show that has commercials stringing through it the whole time. It's 24 hours. You can always jump in, jump out. There's, it's never ending. You never really miss anything because nothing really ever happens. It's a loop. It's a cycle and it's a trap. And they hit you with these little, you know, like little blinks and blops, these likes, dislikes, <clears throat> anything that keep it actively addictive. And that's what they went for. The, the model of the platform is to be addictive. And in that addictive world is a way of saying, you know what, we got you because it's entertaining. Now, I don't want this video to go on too much longer. I really want to keep this short. So I'm going to do a part three. Please leave your comments about where I'm at now examining modern honesty, social media in general. What are your beliefs about it? Keep giving me your opinions. There are, I do not have the answers. I'm just trying to spark a little bit of conversation about it. Uh, I just want people to understand that uh, I value your opinion. I value your contribution to this channel. And I really appreciate you tuning in. And I look forward to hearing from you. And thanks again. And remember, embrace your uniqueness. It's that self-understanding, that self-love, self-acceptance, and that growth-minded mindset that's going to push you to be the best version of yourself. Have a great one.